some help? Easy, friend. I think you may have eaten something that did not agree with you. Uh, come on, with someone. We're looking here at a little mission where uh, you run across a guy in the woods and he looks like he's absolutely tripping balls on some mushrooms or he's taking something that's driving him absolutely crazy. And we're going to walk through this side mission. Uh, this little side quest, but as usual, in most of my videos, uh, I give you a little history about the Viking Age, and uh, so you can learn a little bit of something uh, while you play too. So in this video, I'm going to talk about berserkers, and did they actually take mushrooms? Um, well, we're going to look at that here. We don't know for sure, but um, I'm going to share with you a story from the Viking Age that's going to shed a little bit of light on it. So first... You follow this guy and he's just wanting to fight. He's aggressive, he's tripping on some shrooms or whatever, and he wants to fight. And um, this is kind of like another story. There are very few accounts of, of uh, people actually turning into berserkers, Vikings actually turning into berserkers in the Viking Age. But I'm going to share with you one. And it was a father and his son uh, along with their men. The father's name was Kvedulf and his son was uh, Skallagrim. Uh, so these two, they were fleeing Norway because they had some quarrels with King Harald. Um, the Harald that we see in this game, as many of you know, um, so he, he pushed a lot of people out of the country and a lot of people had a problem with him. So uh, this father, um, Kvedulf, and his son Skallagrim, on the way they stopped in uh, the Shetland Islands, or it might have even been the Faroe Islands actually, and they saw some of King Harald's men. I thought, I think it was his cousin. Uh, but I can't remember, but I'll put that somewhere up in the screen here uh, as well. But um, they see his cousin, and they park their ship, and they see him. They know they want to attack him to dish some revenge on King Harald. So they turn into berserkers. Exactly what they do, the story doesn't... Uh, explain, but they uh, change themselves. They work themselves up into a frenzy. They put on their bear skins, and then there, and that's when they come the spirit of a bear or a wolf, um, and that's what happens there. And um, they kill all the guys in a wild berserk rage, and um, that's just. Uh, that's just the end of the story. So they did this very quickly. Um, that's the main point I wanted to make with this story, and uh, also. After, um, it was very, very common, it even mentions in the story, that people get sick. Well, once you go from a berserker, normal to a berserker, in that furied rage, you get sick. Just like this guy is doing right here in the game, too, actually. So, uh, the father, Kvedlurf, was sick for many, many days, and he was weak. So, this berserker rage took a lot out of you. So, we learned two things from this story. One is that uh, when these guys went into the berserker rage, they probably didn't take mushrooms. <laughs> So if any, if any of you have taken mushrooms, you know that it takes quite a while to kick in. It's it's a couple hours before it's really at its peak. Maybe you start to feel it after an hour, then two, three hours before it's at its peak. Um, so these these uh, two Vikings, Kvedlulf and Skallagrim, and their men, they probably didn't take mushrooms because they they attacked these uh, these men of King Harald uh, uh, pretty quickly after they saw them. So maybe they smoked something or maybe they had a drink, something that would ingest something into their system very, very quickly so they could feel the effects and become the berserker like that. Uh, and second, um, it took a lot out of you. Um, if, if you d came into this rage, whatever substance you took or didn't take, um, it took a lot out of you that you became weak for many many days after um, so that's just two points now what could these things be well I'm not going to talk about all those theories in this video we don't really know um, we do see a lot of evidence um, in the Norse world and other pagan cultures around the world that a drink was served some side of alcoholic drink mixed with something um, that uh, men took before they came into battle that that got them you know fit and ready to fight um, uh, what was exactly in that drink there's it could be a lot of different things and I will go into that in other videos but I just want to say it it probably was not mushrooms um, that's what it looks like um, just using logical thinking they very well could have used mushrooms sometimes but um, it was probably something that acted a bit quicker so that, that they would get built up into that rage a little bit quicker so um, that's about it for this video he finished this mission by carrying him back to his wife and uh, he probably needs uh, some good rest I uh, hope you enjoyed this video you can follow here and on my other channel I'll put a link to uh, to another video where I'm going to speak about um, the actual uh, substance and the theories of what we think were in these drinks that got these uh, Vikings into a berserker-like state. But um, that's about it for this video. Be CS Nestegong.